Welcome to this next episode of YouTube, where I've entitled it Transition Time. And around a wolf yard, that can mean a lot of things. But uh, first and foremost, we are seeing yearlings transitioning into adults. And this is a photo of Bolts as he uh, walks along a snowy day. And this is a photo of Aiden on the same snowy day. And you can really see that Bolts is filling out and looking pretty mature. Another transition time is the management in deep snow. We are getting snow upon snow. And while the Arctic wolves seem to enjoy the snow, the rest of us have a lot more work to do. Did you ever wonder how we clean raven droppings off a window in the middle of winter? Well, we use snow. Um, water just freezes, so we have to use snow. So as far as other transitional things that are happening, obviously Bolts is testing a little bit for status with Denali. Aiden and Luna are trying to figure out this whole dynamics of being a dominant pair. Aiden some days wonders, uh, we think about Luna, but for the most part, a lot of activity. And Luna, um, again, still very, very active despite uh, some of her limitations. She's showing no signs of having um, troubles. A little bit of a hop here and there. Uh, but for the most part, uh, she is engaged in activity. As a matter of fact, she is probably the most active wolf in dominance that we have here. And that happens to be bolts on the bottom of Luna and Denali dominance. So bolts is testing a little bit for status with Denali. Denali's taking advantage of Luna, who dominates bolts just as she did uh, when they were, or tried to when they were pups. Um, so Luna's always been dominant over Bolts. Bolts has always been real timid. And so Denali takes advantage of Luna putting Bolts down and tries to get a couple more dominance displays on Bolts. Now you wonder, where's Aiden in all this? Eh, he's staying out of it. The um, reality is this probably looks a lot more like a bunch of immature wolves wrestling. Now, granted, Denali's not immature. Denali's um, going to be six years old, but sometimes he acts like an oversized yearling. And so uh, we do see these kind of things independent of Aiden. Now, when Aiden does get involved, it's quite a bit more serious, and Aiden will get involved, typically, though, dominating Denali. Um, we don't see Aiden getting involved dominating Bolts. And, and again, Aiden seems to really um, show a lot of leadership uh, in this pack but he also shows a lot of tolerance for these yearlings and uh, even Luna sometimes uh, um, his tolerance is is present so again we see a lot of activity lots of snow and we're going to get a lot more on Wednesday of this week we're going to actually shovel off the roof um, we have a contractor coming in and because of the volume of snow that we received this this winter we'll actually have a, a piece of equipment in the pen moving the snow away from the edge of the windows and creating some piles for the wolves. Uh, the wolves like to climb, so that'll be a good thing for wolves. They'll have to be held off into uh, the pack holding area, uh, which is kind of the front part of Grizzer's uh, enclosure for a few hours while that bobcat work is being done. But uh, when it's done, we're going to see a lot of activity, so we'll hopefully try to film that when they return uh, back into the enclosure after we remove that snow. As we've said before, when Denali gets fed up with Luna, he climbs the high rock. So we know that that uh, rock is, uh, the piles of snow are going to be uh, real fun for the wolves. So this is, like I said, what Aiden does when the rest of the pack's kind of wrestling a little bit. He's getting some some interactions with wolf care staff. And again, as uh, these Aiden and Denali reach six, um, we are uh, obviously want to be checking them out quite a bit more. Um, the other thing that you'll notice here, um, we are given a little bit of kibble. Um, Luna gets her special diet uh, thanks to Dana Pond's donation. Um, she gets her catfish and bean high vitamin D diet. And as a distraction, we kind of put out a little bit of extra kibble, um, some of the regular kibble. But in this case, um, wherever the catfish and bean kibble was, they're going to roll. Um, and that's Luna sent rolling on, on where she was feeding earlier um, in this clip. And... Uh, uh, gotta love that smell of catfish and beans but um, the whole goal of that uh, supplemental food is to again help her vitamin D levels and make sure that she has what she needs nutritionally so over in retirement Grizzer in the deep snow um, finds a typical Grizzer wolf enclosure check uh, opportunity to get his belly scratched in a nice soft bed of fresh snow. We still do maintain the straw beds um, for Grizzer, but as you can see here, he um, does 
enjoy wolf care staff time. And so we might try to make sure there are ample opportunities um, to give him massages and to give him the opportunity to just have some good social time. Um, so fresh snow means that you get to do a snow plow and that's what he's doing here is he's taking his nose and plowing the snow with it. Normally in a snow plow the wolves have a forward motion but yeah, Grizzer's kind of on that laid back plan where he just kind of does a sideward motion and then rolls in it and paws in it and spins. Well, he's a spinner, uh, much more than a plower. So that's what Grizzer does uh, during wolf care and we certainly, um, like I said, he's, he's doing quite well. Um, he does have the advantage of having a lot of staff interact with him. So here's one of his massage moments where he almost falls asleep um, during wolf care. And then uh, sometimes, though, you know, with an older animal, you always have to watch. He's going to be 10. Got to make sure that you don't you um, rub too hard because there can be some sore spots. Uh, you know, 10-year-olds have a little bit of joint stiffness, and so there might have been a spot where he just didn't want to want to be touched. So over in the other retirement, in the real retirement, uh, Malik and Shadow are doing quite well. Again, snow is building up there as well. Fortunately, uh, several years ago, uh, before these two were retired, we actually extended the heights of the enclo in retired enclosure an additional four feet. And in this winter, we definitely need it. Um, a regular, you know, eight-foot fence just would not have done it. It worked well for the other retirees, the 1993 litter of Mac, Lakota, and Lucas. Um, they didn't do much as far as climbing, but these arctics are spry. For wolves going on 14, they are active, they are physically capable of jumping. Matter of fact, uh, one of the problems we have with cameras um, and mounting cameras is they can reach everything that we put in there. So um, we did uh, put in a new set of, um, actually I just linked my surveillance camera um, to the webcams as we transition into the new uh, website and the new cameras. Um, I do, uh, recognize we've got a little bit of work to do to make them um, what people want but uh, Shadow and Malik's wireless uh, small camera actually froze in the sub-zero minus 40 degree weather so I had no choice but to um, if I wanted to get a camera up I needed to get the surveillance cameras up and running. Good thing is they do have some night vision so you can see a little bit more detail but we don't get the close zoom like the other camera did because as surveillance I really do need to see a broader view of the pen um, than what the webcams had so bear with us uh, I know it's a transition we've been saying this before that uh, we're kind of transitioning into this webcam it's been a long time but uh, we're trying to do uh, what's good for management as well as what's good for viewing so so bear with us and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week